What is going on, y'all? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Here in today's video, I'll be doing an interview with new Pittsburgh offensive lineman, Keldrick Wilson. Wilson is a grad transfer from Hampton, where he spent his first four years of college. And uh, his first year, he redshirted. And then as a redshirt freshman, played a little bit, played a pretty good amount. And then in his redshirt sophomore year, didn't see much time on the field. But then last year, had a big year, started a lot for them, and is now going to be playing with Pittsburgh for his final year of college. In this interview, I'll be talking with him a little bit about his expectations for being a Pitt, his college career, and much more. Here's the interview. What's going on? Uh, first off, I want to thank you very much for taking the time out of your day to come on here and talk with me. No problem, man. So, uh, first question is, how's everything been going right now with the coronavirus and everything? How you, how you been doing? Uh, I'm doing, doing pretty good, man. Just trying to stay safe. Uh, everywhere I go, you know, I wear my mask and gloves, so... Pretty much it, man. So, uh, now, I'm going to get right into it. So, you, you picked uh, to go to Pitt for your, to play there. So, you picked Pitt over West Virginia, Indiana, and USC. So, why was Pittsburgh the school you chose to finish your college career off at? Uh, it's in the ACC. You know, it's always been a dream to play in the ACC. Um, the type of, uh, the type of coaches, the staff they have, I felt like I trusted them the most. Uh, Coach Forbes, um, you know, he bugged me every single day, called me every single day. And uh, he just showed more commitment to me than any any other the coaches, you know, even though they showed me tremendous uh, commitment as well. But I just feel like, you know, Boris was just, you know, he, he's just a great guy, a great coach. And he kind of reminds you like a, like an uncle you like, you know. Right. And, mm -hmm. So now following this past season, you announced that you would be transferring as a grad transfer. So why why did you make the choice to transfer to finish your career? Um, I got a year. I, okay, so um, my fresh. Okay, I registered my freshman year of college. Then um, I played my freshman freshman year. Started like three, like few games, and I played behind the senior. But I played, and then uh, when they, the whole coaching staff that brought me in got fired, um, new coaching staff came in. And uh, they didn't really know who I was. And, and that was supposed to be my year to start. Right. And they brought the guys in and they didn't play me. And it kind of gave me a year back. So I felt like, you know, in order for me to get drafted, I, I need to show, like, the scouts that I can, you know, something. You know, I can play a little higher because I, 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 I was only going to start for two years if I would have stayed there. You know, and most most guys who get drafted from those type of schools, they don't play three, four years and stuff like that. So right. I just felt, you know, I, it would give me a better shot if I play higher. So now, will you have one year of eligibility or two at Pitt? One. Really. Okay. Yeah. So at Hampton, you know, from the time you started there, as you said, you redshirted, and as you you evolved as a player in your time there. So take me through what your time with the Pirates was like. Uh, it was fun. You know, uh, uh it was it was a lot hard though. Uh, we practiced early, early in the morning. Like, like I used to have to wake up about four o'clock. You know, get dressed and leave my my dorm four thirty. Walk all the way to the uh, locker room and practice would be like five fifteen. And uh, the first coaching staff, you know, I loved them a lot, but it was kind of like you know hard, a little hardcore. And uh, you know, it, they they just they just grew me to, to to be a hard working player. You know, just I really you know I really worked hard with them. And uh, my old line coach that I had with him with them, the first coaching staff, you know, I really loved them. And he really like pushed me to to another level, you know. You know, I always wanted to 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 to, to please him, I guess. You know, you know, just make sure you know I, I do right, you know. So. So what was it like? Cool. What was it like for you this year, uh, playing with DeAndre Francois? He has a little bit of an ACC background, as you're going to an ACC school now. And what was it like, kind of blocking for him as your quarterback? Uh, it was cool. You know, he, he's a great dude. Uh, he's a really good leader. Um, the way he, you know, he brought up the young boys and uh, the way a lot of guys looked up to him and the way he talks, you know, he's, he's a great leader, man. I hope, I hope his career jumps off and I hope he has a tremendous football career, but he was, he was a great guy to block for, funny dude. And, uh, you know, every time I, every time he even got touched, I felt bad. Even <laughs> it wasn't me, but I still feel bad, you know, so, you know, it was, it was, it was, it was a cool experience. So now, um, now a pit, you kind of mentioned this. You'll be playing against ACC opponents like Miami, Florida State, Notre Dame, and possibly even Clemson if you guys make the ACC championship. So, what do you think the transition will be like for you going from the Big South to the ACC? Uh, 
Uh, I feel like it'll, you know, it'll be just walking apart, really. You know, I got years of experience. I don't play FBS schools. I don't play the top, top FCS schools. And, uh, you know, I feel like it's, it's going to be okay. You know, all I got to do is continue to work hard, and um, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be it's gonna be okay for me. So now, um, how do you think that you will fit into the Panthers' offense? Um, I think I fit well. Um, you know, they, they're kind of like a little balanced offense. And, um, you know, I feel like my, my athletic ability will blend in well with the guys and the and, uh, rest of the O-line. So um, now I read that in high school you'd only played two years during your high school career. So now uh, take me through what the journey of football has been like for you. As you said, you redshirted your first year at Hampton, and it's kind of been – a long journey for you. Explain, take me through that journey. Uh, so, like, in high school, I actually played three. I played as a JV. Okay. First year, but I didn't play, like, the first couple of games. They didn't play me. And um, and I played tight end. But my, my calling, I thought my calling was basketball. I was, I was really into basketball, you know. I thought that was my calling. And uh, I was a lot skinnier, you know. I was a tight end, and I was, I was playing basketball, and I'm skinny and stuff like that. So, I thought that was my calling. But my junior year, you know, I – Came back. Okay, I went to my – okay, the school I graduated from, I went there my freshman year. And then my sophomore year, I transferred, went to a basketball school. Okay. So I came back. I came back. And um, I came back, played tight end. And then the next year, I transferred over to tackle. Had a great year, dominated. Uh, second uh, second team all county. And um, and a lot of a lot of FBS schools w- was, you know, interested, but they didn't want to give me the chance. That was, like, my first year playing, so – um, it's just been a bumpy road, you know. I, I, I didn't, you know, I, I, I didn't play my, my first uh, as JV. I didn't play in eighth grade. Um, then when I got to college, you know, I, I played a lot my rest of freshman year. Then I didn't play, you know. I just, I, it's, I just, you know, I've been a person that always had to work. You know? Right. So now, final question. Now, what should Pittsburgh Panthers fans know that Keldrick Wilson is going to bring to the team? Uh, I'm gonna bring aggressiveness. I'm going to bring uh, my athletic ability. I'm going to bring uh, my smartness, you know, uh, my intelligence. Um, this is all around great, a great grit player, you know. I, you know, I got I play with a little bit of grit. Thank you very much for watching my video. And please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. I put the new 4Gs on the G. I drive into the bloody bottoms is underneath.